it. It's been a while since we had a fun video just crucifying the mentally ill in the comment section, but I got a good one. I got a good one. And it stems from the most recent Blue Lock episode coming from Mr. Watching Cringe M6F. And I need you to understand this part first. I need you to understand that this is a comment made in like the first two minutes of upload. This guy has notifications on. He is the most dedicated fan of my channel. And he says, there are too many reactions channels on YouTube. Too many. Let's face it. They are like the plague on YouTube. I mean, you're not necessarily wrong. There is a lot of fucking reaction channels on YouTube. You know why? Because it's such a low entry to barrier. Bro, anybody can just turn the fucking webcam, watch something, and upload it, right? It's easy content. This reaction channel is a little bit different from the average YouTube reaction channel. Oh, a little bit of subtle glaze I see. And the reason why he commented it in like the first like minute of upload is because he watches the fucking reactions and he's basically doing a little bit. He's setting up the, uh, the foundation by bringing in this example where I actually give thoughtful commentary and analysis in a play by play by way where compared to a lot of these other reaction channels where there isn't the same amount of, I guess you could say effort put into it, right? That's the basis of this comment. But with that being said, but it's essentially a reaction channel. So the criticisms against reaction channels still apply to this channel. We have a armchair pseudo intellect, and I am always down to call out the logical fallacies in these retards that think that they're so smart and self-important. Opponents. That's so funny. Opponents of what? Who are your ops, bro? Opponents can say, I don't care, all they want. Opponents here in this context refers to reaction channel enjoyers that will basically go on defense, right? But the fact is that your words and actions influences the words and actions of other people. Get on with the retard, you're waste you're saying a lot without saying anything. Generally, the proliferation of reaction content incentivizes the creation of more reaction content. Yeah, no shit, dumbass. That happens with anything. You do something, you see it succeed, other people want to do the same thing. An official filter that works on all YouTube pages would be much appreciated. So if you kind of like break down this guise of pseudo intellect, what this retard is basically saying is, I don't like reaction channel. So many reaction channel out there. Reaction channel bad. And you as a reaction channel, even if you provide better reactions, you still bad. And here's the best part. This is a literal frog in a well. In his own little echo chamber, by himself, he needs a straight-up straitjacket. And his whole perception is that reaction ch content is fundamentally evil and YouTube needs to get rid of it, right? But here's the thing. Your opinion doesn't matter. My opinion doesn't matter. You know what matters? The behavior of the market. You as an individual don't determine what is actually good content and what people want to watch. Simply, this is a free market in capitalism. You put out your product and other people will see it. And if it's good, they're going to buy it. They're going to want more of it. If it's bad, then they're not going to give a fuck about it. There's so many reaction channels out there where it's, it's so hard to succeed due to the sheer amount of saturation. And it's not as if those channels are, are all like, you know, what am I trying to get out of here? I'm trying to basically say this argument is fundamentally twisted to his own stupidity where he doesn't recognize how like what people truly want and he thinks that what he wants is what everyone wants that is so fucking delusional what is blood waffling about i kind of understand what you're saying but is there context in the video feels like you commented in the wrong video in case cause reacting i didn't watch the video just click to see somehow the anime improve bro just go outside get a job and actually contribute to society Schizo that didn't take med spotted. Maybe this thread will be fork farm tomorrow. Don't let me down, monkeys, and you guys didn't let, let me down. What? We live in a society ass moment. And it's it's just so funny how so many people get so upset at reaction content. It's as if like I killed their fucking dog, their parents, their kids, their siblings, their loved ones, because I'm reacting on YouTube. No one is asking you to click onto these videos. Any type of content 
will simply exist until the market deems it worthy enough to be pushed it, you know, into like a higher, uh, a higher scale. The reason that reaction content thrives on YouTube is because people love that shit. No one cares about your opinion about how reaction content is bad. Ain't nobody give a fuck about what you think. This is simply free market behavior. And I just think that the audacity the sheer like audacity and the self-importance and the delusions of people and the best part is how he types like this he thinks he's so smart this person thinks that he is so so smart that you have opened your third eye the way that you pre like you present yourself is so fucking retarded if you're so smart why can you not understand this simple fact that this content is desired by a greater audience and your ass monkey take doesn't matter but you know what it makes a lot of sense because these people are coming in at this angle because they're jealous they see how unfair it is that you can simply just watch stuff and just make money on youtube right there's people entire careers established due to reaction content not just anime reactions many different types of reactions they look at themselves they look at the position that they're in life and they have to justify and rationalize in their head why they have to live such an arduous and a quote-unquote harder life working their shitty job while other people can simply watch videos and make a living on youtube but guess what brother life is fundamentally unfair and if you're truly smart you should be able to recognize this and do the same thing i do it's so easy right just react bro just fucking put the content up but i guarantee you none of you most most people can't fucking do this because it's not that simple there's a lot of different things that goes on behind the scenes and there's a reason why if you just look at maybe this is a little little bm of me but all you have to do is this. Do you know how many channels are out there that's getting like no views over and over again? I'm not trying to specify any single person, but just because you react doesn't mean you just fucking succeed. For every one person like me, there's like a hundred, like 10,000 others that's failed. And for every channel, like your boy Roshi and other really big channels, there's other channels like me that's like failed in comparison, right? It's just so funny to me to see these delusional people talk this way thinking that they understand what's happening when they are simply in their own echo chamber they're so sure that their opinion should be the factual thing but you can't even realize that so many people out there enjoy reaction content and you see the reaction content thriving and you view it as like an evil it's so fucking hilarious and that's where i'll leave it off five six seven eight nine 10. Eight minute mark. This is means that by this eight minute mark, I can now put in the uh the mid rolls. That's why I just counted there. Anyways, bye bye. Bye bye.